Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video I'll teach you how to create page borders, adding color to a page and adding a watermark. Let me just tell you what I'm trying to say over here. You see this beautiful border over here? There, there are way many variations that we can use like these and you can create them in a jiffy like this. And then you can color a page. See, this color looks like a, has a hue of blue color, light blue. We can have n number of colors over here. I'll tell you how to do that. And then in the end, the beautiful thing, adding a watermark. You see, uh, over here, uh, if I scroll down, over here vertically, and just give me one minute. You see, this watermark over here, it reads as a vertical watermark. It says as, as not a vertical, sorry, a diagonal. Uh, my e -lesson .org. that is what I put in myself and you can do it so well yourself too. Let me just tell you how I did it. Alright, so let me just remove everything first and do something or what? Let, let me create a new one for you. Alright, so we do a control N, a new file opens and we copy this text over here, some text. This text goes control Z. Sorry, 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 sorry. And we copy this text and we go to the new file and we copy it over here. And now I'll tell you how to create a page border. Well, you go to insert and I'm sorry, we, we go to page layout and we then go to did I miss something? Oh, I got confused. Yes, I did. I believe I was in the right place. Was I? No, I was not. I forgot my own homework. Ah, so we, we go to we go to design. So sorry for the confusion. We go to design and we go to page borders and we select. We click over here and we, we get to select so many page borders from here. Uh, we select a box. You can select the color automatic or uh, let's let's choose a green color this time. Let's make it really different. And the width can be say this one. And you can have different art styles also. You can choose many art styles, but we'll choose none right now. And we'll apply to it to a, either a single page or we can apply to a whole page. And then we say, okay. And here's our border. See, very simple. Now I'll teach you how to add color to a page. Just go to design. Click over here, page color, and you can choose the color of your page. Let's keep it very, very light this time. Uh, say a hue of very light green. You can choose these colors or you can have more colors and you can choose any color from here. See? All right. So we have a pink color over here. My God, this looks too gaudy. I'm doing a control G. And let me have this one. This is looking better. All right, so I'm adding a color over here. And in fact, in fact, if you choose fill color, you can choose textures. You can choose textures from here. You can choose patterns from here. Let me have a pattern. See, uh, a beautiful pattern like this. Or this one, say, and we have a pattern. Isn't it cool? And how do we remove that? Simple, no color. Choose no color and you are able to remove it. Page border, same. How do you remove a page border? You simply have none. Click on none. And now you can even add a picture in your pages. How? Let me show you. Go to page color. Go to more color. Sorry, no. Go to fill effects. And you can choose a picture of your choice also from your computer or online. And now comes how to add a watermark. There are four uh, watermarks already built in. Confidential, confidential, do not copy, do not copy. You can create your own also. Custom watermark. And let me type. You can, you have to click over here, text watermark. And the text reads ASAP. And let me write, say, myelesson.org www and you can play with the other options over here and say it's diagonal and it's horizontal and you click OK. Here we are. Isn't it cool? So I hope you like this video. So if you did, 
Please do share and comment upon it. Until the next video, this is your Guru now signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.